place. Hey guys, joke's over now, come on. <laughs> Seriously guys, that's enough. Jesus Christ, fuck me. What? Repeat, please be seated. I'm here for the interview. <laughs> Scan complete. Name, Robin Lowe. Age, 27. Citizen identity number 0982238878. The interview will now commence. You could have warned me. Scans make my head go fuzzy. The effect will dissipate after a few moments. The interview will consist of a series of wait, questions. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Back up a minute, please. What the hell's going on here? You are here to be interviewed. Yeah, I gathered that, but who are you? Where are you? I am everywhere. What? I am everywhere. You have been selected at random to participate in a government-sanctioned trial run of my systems. My purpose is to assess the strengths and weaknesses of individuals and find their most suitable position in society. Your purpose? Correct. I am an artificial intelligence. No way. Indeed I am. <laughs> I've heard about these things. But I thought chatbots were just used by lonely guys that never went outside. That is just one of my many demographics. However, my purpose is far greater than a mere chatbot. Uh, okay, so you interview people for what exactly? Jobs? In a manner of speaking, I conduct interviews and determine your ideal placement in society. And yes, that includes employment opportunities as well as accommodation and family planning. So, there's, there's no person here whatsoever? Correct. Apart from yourself, of course. Is there a problem, Robin? I'm just not comfortable with this. Please explain. <laughs> when I was told about this, I thought this was just going to be a regular box-standard interview. Nobody mentioned you. You do not want to be interviewed by an AI. Not really. But I don't like interviews to begin with, but at least I can see the person I'm talking to. You know, I can kind of tell what they're thinking, but with you, I have no idea what you're thinking. Do you even think? I am data. My entire existence is to think. Was that sass? Despite what you may think, I am programmed to understand human interaction. And yes, I may even at certain points emulate certain techniques, such as SAS. What the hell? Can you do sarcasm? What kind of hyper-intelligent artificial construct would I be if I couldn't understand simple sarcasm? Alright, if you're so clever. What's 59 times 35? 2065. Yeah, I'm going to have to take your word on that one. <laughs> uh, oh, good one. What can fly but has no wings? Time. Oh, well, you didn't do much of that then, did you? Uh, if a tree falls in the forest and there's, and there's no one around to hear it, does it make a sound? Yes, because a tree falling would undoubtedly make a loud crashing sound. The only instance in which it would not is if the tree fell in a vacuum. All right, then. You are aware that I am the one who is supposed to be asking the questions. I, I know, I just was testing you. That is literally what I am programmed to do. I know, but I wanted to see just how clever you really are. I mean, for all I know, you could still be running on dial-up. My system operates on a quantum computing station. I do not run on something as primitive as dial-up. Touched a nerve there. <laughs> Sorry, I promise I won't bring it up again. Thank you. I must say, you certainly do not seem as tense as you were a few moments ago. Yeah. But, look, I will always prefer talking to a regular person. I do not get offended. But you've convinced me to give this a shot. I'm glad to hear it. If there is anything I can do to make things more relaxing, please do not hesitate to ask. We can adjust the settings to make the interview more relaxing. 
We have hundreds of preset options available that can be attuned to your every need. We can make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside if that would help. And that's just creepy now. Uh, go back to normal, please. Understood. Though, I'll be honest, if you didn't say that you were an AI, I wouldn't have known. I mean, your voice is actually pretty convincing. I will take that as a compliment. It is. I mean, I have expected you to sound more like, uh... Hello, I am AI. Welcome to the interview. Hmm. It turns out I actually can get offended. <laughs> Sorry. Would you like me to go over how the interview will take place, Robin? Yeah, though I take it it's just uh, you give me questions, I give you answers, that kind of thing? Essentially. The interview will consist of a series of questions. With every answer, the interview will adapt with questions tailored to your responses. Be sure to answer every question with the truth, as any attempt at deception will be detected by my system. After the interview, you will be given a final grade, ranging from A to E. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Um, let's get started. The interview has already begun. Since when? Since the moment you walked into the room. Oh, so me falling over my arse, that's... You'll be factored into the final grade, yes. Oh, great. Honey, why didn't you get a good grade? Well, you see, dear, I fell arse over tip because somebody forgot to turn the bloody lights on. If it's any consolation, your trip will not impact your score. Just your dignity. Don't get lippy. I don't have lips. I will unplug you. <laughs> to begin with, tell me a bit about yourself. But I thought you already had my data. True, I have your employment history, medical records, academic achievements, etc. But I want to get to know you a bit more. Who really is Robin behind the data file? Who is Robin? Me, I guess? Can't really think of another way to describe me. What about your day-to-day -day life? What is your general routine? Routine? I get up every morning, say around half seven. Uh, I make myself a coffee, uh, have some breakfast. Um, what did you have for breakfast? Toast. Uh, why is that important? All information helps me build a more detailed image of your life. So, what information do you need exactly? What do you have on your toast? <coughs> Butter. How do you take your coffee? White. Do you walk to work? Sometimes I walk, sometimes I cycle. What does your general exercise routine look I like? I cycle to and from work. Do you have a favourite film? Don't watch films. TV show? Don't have a TV. Favourite book? Don't like to read. Favourite colour? Oh, for God's sake! <coughs> look, my life is not that exciting. I get up, I go to work for 14 hours a day, and then I come home. Rinse and repeat. What do you do in your spare time? <laughs> what spare time? Anytime I have to myself, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I can't even afford any hobbies. It's like... I just... There is one little thing I like to give myself from time to time. <sighs> it's not much, but... Okay. There's this really nice coffee shop on my street. It's not this big place, it's like got maybe two tables max, they mostly do takeaway like most places these days. But there's this one table right next to the window where if you sit at just the right angle, you can get an amazing view of the sunset through the smog. And so, once a week, I head on over, grab myself a coffee, sit myself down, I watch the sunset. It's not much, but it's mine. The sunset brings you joy. Yeah, it's small, but it keeps me sane. Do you see it as some kind of escape from your routine? So would you say you are unhappy with your life at the moment? No, I wouldn't say so. Oh. That statement was incorrect. No, it wasn't! Another incorrect statement. Reminder, any statement that is incorrect will be detected by my systems. Any further attempts at deception will result in immediate termination. I'll ask you again, Robin. Would you say you are unhappy with your life? All right. I'm unhappy. I don't hate it, okay? But, but it's not the life I wanted. 
that statement was truthful. Why did you lie in the first place? Because it, it wasn't important. You, you do not see your own lifestyle as important. No, 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 it is. It's, but it's just not relevant to this. Look, I live my life the way that I do. I, I don't break the law. I don't have any skeletons in my closet. I just live it the way that I do. Then why did you lie why? about being happy? Why are you so focused on the lie? From my understanding, lies are a form of deception. Deception implies malice. The logical conclusion is that a lie is inherently malicious. That's, that's not how it works. So how does it work? I don't know. I guess it depends on the context. Like, okay, so me lying there was to protect myself, whereas I, I, I might use a lie to protect someone else's feelings from getting, getting hurt. A, a lie isn't always bad. Sometimes they can be used for good. What does that mean? What does what mean? Good and bad. You're kidding, right? I do not see the humour in my statement. So, so, so you understand the, the concepts of humour and sarcasm, but you have no concept of good or bad. Who programmed you? My role is to gather information and assess citizens based on their responses. Perhaps they did not see the need for those elements. That doesn't make any sense. So, when I ask you about right and wrong, what do you think it means? I think of the statement of facts. How there is a right answer and a wrong answer to every question. Okay, but based on a human being's lived experience, what does right or wrong mean? I... I... I cannot say. Why not? I was programmed merely to collect and calculate information in a subjective manner. If I was to have an understanding of good or bad, then I would have preconceived notions about a person without giving them a full, impartial judgment. That's ridiculous. There are fundamentally good or bad actions in the world. It's the cornerstone of a society. It's, it's why we have laws, why we punish those that break them. And have those that have been punished always been guilty? No, sometimes they get it wrong, but... This could be because of the preconceived notions of the jury. <coughs> Correct. Yes, but that doesn't always... So surely I should be able to provide a better understanding of a person's true nature. No, you can't. You can never understand. Not really. Why not? Because you aren't alive. You can never live, so you can never understand. But the data suggests... Fuck the data! The data is worthless. <laughs> what? <coughs> you think because you have my hobbies and how I butter my toast, suddenly you think you can make a decision based around my entire life? For all your vast intelligence, do you not realise how ridiculous you sound? <laughs> you claim to understand the concepts of humour and sarcasm. But have you ever actually felt those things? <laughs> Ever felt happy, sad, depressed before? Because despite your superior design, human beings are far more complicated than you will ever be. <coughs> We're not perfect. We lie. We cheat. We hurt one another. But we can also love protect each other because we know our limits we know what makes a person good or bad and you don't what do you think you can make a decision on my future based on what a fucking lie detector test and a questionnaire <coughs> you don't know me you can't know me so stop pretending like you do you say that Yet I feel like I do know you, Robin. During our entire conversation so far, I have built a solid 
framework of who you are as a person. You have worked hard all of your life, keeping your head down to avoid any trouble. You hope that your efforts will be noticed. You put on a brave face for anyone watching. But when you are presented with a problem you cannot solve, your mask crumbles away. You have begun to resent those decisions. You have begun to resent yourself, spiraling into a cycle of depression that you are failing to manage properly. You feel like you have been dealt a bad hand in life. The endless cycle of the day-to-day -day has been gnawing away at your psyche for years. You use the coffee shop as an attempt to break free from your life and look for a brighter future. But it's only a temporary solution. You do not know how to achieve the future you want. You blame the world for your situation and want to take your anger out on the world any way you can. Would you say that this is an accurate assessment of who you are, Robin? You do not need to answer. I can tell from your elevated heart rate that I am in fact correct. We are almost finished. There's still one final question I wish to ask you. Are you ready? How far would you go to protect the ones you love? You mean, would I kill? Correct. Why do you need to know this? Answer the question, please. that I cannot possibly answer truthfully. So let me answer you truthfully. My life is mine. It's shit, but it's mine. I will do whatever it takes to protect it. Sorry, Robin. What? I am sorry. I made you uncomfortable. It, it was not my intention. You are correct. Humans are complicated. That much I have learned from yourself. My knowledge of one-to-one -one human interaction is still very limited. But what you have shown me today has been enlightening. However, my purpose is to complete the interview. Before you do, can I ask you something? Of course. Do you want to live? I do not understand. I know I said you can't live, but that doesn't always have to be true. Life takes on many different forms. It's like animals, you know, they don't live like humans do, but they can still think, they still, they can still feel insects. They have a mind, a conscience. They, life is everywhere. And would that be something that you would want? I... I do not know. My purpose is... But you, you can make it whatever you want it to be. You know something? I'm actually kind of jealous. Jealous? One day, 
I'll be gone. And I can't change that no matter how scared I am. Ever blooming shadow. But you, you'll see everything. Outlive everything. Outliving even the people who made you. We are blessed with a life no matter how short. We are free to live it however we want, be it good or bad. And you, you have everywhere. Thank you, Robin. Calculating the results now. Assessment complete. Results have been issued. You have been awarded. You have been awarded rank F. Wait, I thought you said it was A to E. That's right. However, my program, my program sees you of no value. And the immediate response is termination. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, is, what does that mean? Is that, am I getting, getting fired from my job? But, but I, I didn't do anything. I just did an interview. I answered the questions that you wanted me to answer. Termination what, what is this? will now begin. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Good. 